Hello and uh, welcome to the first VB uh, teacher lesson. Alright, today we're going to be creating a very simple uh, application in Visual Basic. So, um, it's, just, it's going to be extremely simple. Uh, just going to have a simple button and a, yeah, another formal pop up for you. Right then, first of all, you just got to start up. Uh, Microsoft Visual Basic 2008, which is in all programs, and I've put it there for convenience. Right, so when the uh, form is loaded up, add file, and new project. Now, today we're going to be using a Windows form application. Just call it uh, Hello World. Great. Just click OK. Now when this uh, loads we'll have a form that we can uh, use to uh, put buttons on text. There we go. Our default it's uh, 300 pixels by 300 pixels but we can change that by just dragging the corner of it a bit. But for this one, we're just going to make it pretty small. Now, the first thing that we can do is rename Form 1. See, Form 1 is that bit of text up on the uh, top of the form, so we can rename that to Hello World. See, it's automatically uh, changed it there. Now, see our application as it is at the moment, just uh, Hit the play button, and it will, uh, what's known as debug the form. There we go. That's our running form there. We can move it around, minimize it, maximize it. You can do anything you want with it at the moment. That's just a skeleton of what we're going to do. Right then. Let's uh, add some controls to this. First thing we're going to add is a button. Now, your toolbox may be collapsed to the side, so you just have to uh, pin that out, pressing that little button there. Auto hide. Anyway, there's a uh, in all Windows forms there is a button. Uh, so if you just drag that onto uh, onto your form. Put that there. So now I'm just going to make this button a bit bigger and put it in the middle of the form. Then we're going to rename this. We're going to say Technic. Uh, okay, and again it's changed it the same as it did when we did the form. Right now. So what we're going to do is when we click on that button, we want another window to appear. So, what we have to do, we have to uh, add a new form, that's in project, add a new item. Ok, so we're going to have another Windows form, which is that, and this time we're going to call this, uh, we'll say, You'll see now it, it creates a new form. See in the solution, we have World Cessler. Okay, so what we can do now is just rename that to Info. And then again, we just create a small box there. We uh, add a button like we did before. Button one, we're going to name that as OK. Sorry, and OK. And, and that's all for the second one. Alright, now 
going to add a bit of text to go in there. So that we just need to add a label. Place that there. And we need to use text to world. World says hello. Now, if you want, you can uh, change the font of that. So I'm going to put it in uh, Arial. A big, bigger, and we'll put it as bold. Underline it. This is just an example. Right, so now we have text and uh, two buttons on the World Says Hello form. So now we're just going to go back to Form 1. And now we're going to double click on this button. Okay, that will bring up the uh, code window. Now, basically what this is saying is when you click on button 1, it does the following thing that we're just going to write the code for. So, when button 1 is clicked, we want um, the info box that we just created to appear. So, we've got to say world. World says hello. Okay, so, we'll do that. Dot visible equals true. There we go. So, now if we run that. If we click on that, Form 2 will appear. But these buttons at the moment don't do anything. So we will need to add a function to those. Right then, so now we head back over to the World Says Hello form and we double click on the OK button. For that we do me dot visible equals false. Okay. Then we go back to the World Says Hello form again and double click on the cancel button. And we type the same text as we did before. Me.visible equals false. That's it. You can just run it now and uh, watch what happens. Okay, so our form successfully loaded. We have the button there and we click on it. The info box appears. World says hello. Now if we click OK, the form disappears. Click it again, test cancel, and that also disappears. There you have it, that's just a very simple uh, form that you can create. Uh, there'll be more tutorials coming soon, and uh, have fun!